Hi, this is Daniel DeTuro. Do you believe eating a low oxalate diet prevents kidney stones? In this video, I'll share what are kidney stones and oxalates, risk factors for having kidney stones, reducing the risk of having stones, when eating a low oxalate diet is justified, and sample high and low oxalate foods. Kidney stones, also called renal calculi, are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form inside the kidneys. Some leading causes of stone formation include diet, genetics, excess weight, some medical conditions, dietary supplements, and prescription drugs. For most people, it takes years to form kidney stones. For some high-risk individuals, Kidney stones can form in a few months instead of years. Stones that stay within the kidneys usually cause no symptoms or damage. Stones that pass out of the kidney into the ureters can cause intense pain. If a stone becomes lodged in the ureter, it can block the flow of urine, cause the kidney to swell, and painful ureter spasms. Symptoms of kidney stones include severe back and side pain below the ribs, pain radiating to the groin or lower abdomen, pain that comes in waves with fluctuating intensity, pain or burning while urinating, cloudy urine, nausea, and vomiting. For small stones, drinking lots of water and taking a pain medication is all that's needed to pass the stone. Large stones causing extreme pain may require a medical procedure that breaks the stone into smaller pieces. Unfortunately, once a person has a kidney stone, the probability of having another stone increases. One of the leading causes of kidney stones is concentrated urine from mild dehydration. Concentrated urine has a higher mineral and salt content, the chemicals needed to form stones. There are four major types of kidney stones, calcium bonded with oxalate or phosphate, struvite, uric acid, and cysteine. About 60% of all kidney stones are calcium oxalate. Oxalates are compounds found in some foods and a waste product produced by your liver. Oxalates are also known as oxalic acid. Normally, oxalate waste byproducts are removed by your kidneys. Like cholesterol, you can reduce or eliminate dietary cholesterol and still have high blood cholesterol because most blood cholesterol is made by your liver. The same with oxalate. You can reduce or eliminate high oxalate foods from your diet and still have too much oxalate in your urine. Hyperoxaluria can be genetic or caused by intestinal diseases like Crohn's disease. Kidney stones affect about 12% of the global population. In the U.S., about 6% of adult males and 4% of adult females have kidney stones. The number of people with kidney stones has been increasing over the past 50 years. White males in their 30s and 40s have the highest incidence of kidney stones. As I've shared, people who have had kidney stones have a higher risk of having more stones. There are simple, preventative measures anyone can take to reduce the risk of having kidney stones. First, stay hydrated by drinking plenty of fluids. Set a goal of drinking at least eight, eight-ounce glasses of liquids daily. This is especially important for people living or working in hot climates. When you perspire heavily, you must replace the fluid lost. Perspiration is a mechanism your body uses to maintain a safe core temperature, but it also reduces body fluids. 
To replenish fluids, you don't need expensive beverages with electrolytes. Plain water is the best fluid for staying hydrated. Water has zero calories and no added sugars. Obtain electrolytes like sodium and potassium from a diet of minimally processed foods. In my Oxalates Facts and Myths video, I included drinking coffee to stay hydrated. Several viewers commented that coffee causes dehydration. There are billions of coffee drinkers around the world and no reports of dehydration or increased stone formation. In fact, studies show coffee drinkers have fewer kidney stones. The caffeine in coffee is a mild diuretic. Diuretics increase urination. Increased urination flushes chemicals that can form stones from your kidneys. On the other hand, the chemicals in prescription diuretics used to decrease high blood pressure may increase your risk of having kidney stones. Eating a low-protein diet reduces your risk of having stones. Most people need between 0.5 to 1 gram of protein per pound of body weight. Like electrolytes, your protein should come from minimally processed foods, not protein supplements. Eating a low-sodium diet also reduces your risk of kidney stones. An easy way to reduce sodium is by replacing prepared foods with home-cooked foods. Lose weight if you're overweight or obese. Excess weight is a risk factor for many chronic diseases besides kidney stones. Increase the amount of calcium in your diet if your stones are calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate. Increasing calcium may seem counterintuitive. Studies show increasing calcium and decreasing oxalates helps prevent future stone formation. Like sodium, diets high in prepared foods can also be high in phosphates. Cut back or eliminate sugar-sweetened beverages, including beverages with high fructose corn syrup. Some beverages, like colas, also have phosphoric acid. You can also reduce your risk of having kidney stones by not taking high doses of vitamin C. Studies show excess vitamin C can increase oxalic acid production. For healthy adults, the US RDA for vitamin C is 75 mg for females and 90 mg for males. While taking high-dose vitamin C may boost your immune system, you may be increasing your risk of having kidney stones. A research study about kidney stone states, the pathogenesis of kidney stone biomineralization is a complex process which remains incompletely understood. On the other hand, fat diets have simple solutions for everything that ails you. For example, if you've had calcium oxalate kidney stones, eliminating high oxalate foods will prevent future stones. That may be true if you only have calcium oxalate stones. If your stones are uric acid, struvite, or cysteine, a low or no oxalate diet will not prevent them from forming. Complicating matters even more, you can have a calcium oxalate stone and then a uric acid or other stone. While there's a high probability future stones will be calcium oxalate, there's also a statistical probability they will not. There's no harm reducing or eliminating high oxalate foods as long as your diet provides all essential nutrients. Just keep in mind that eating a low oxalate diet doesn't guarantee you will never have another kidney stone. You need to evaluate all risk factors that can contribute to stone formation. Low oxalate diets like to perpetuate the myth that everyone eating high oxalate foods will have kidney stones. 
They ignore the fact that most people who eat high oxalate foods do not develop kidney stones needing medical intervention. Many high oxalate foods provide numerous beneficial nutrients. If you want to limit oxalate or your doctor recommends a low oxalate diet, here are a few foods that are commonly considered to be high in oxalic acid. You may not have to eliminate all these foods. Just be aware to avoid combining them in your daily diet. If you prefer eating a low or no oxalate diet, fortunately there are many healthy low oxalate foods. The fact a food is low oxalate doesn't mean it's good for you. For example, soft drinks are low oxalate, but sugar and phosphates increase the risk of having kidney stones. Another example is lean red meat. While it's low oxalate, it increases chronic inflammation. As you can tell, this list of low oxalate foods include both healthy and not so healthy foods. It doesn't do you much good to reduce oxalates and your risk of kidney stones while eating foods that can contribute to chronic inflammation. Some takeaways from this video include kidney stone formation is a complex process. There are simple self-help methods to reduce your risk of having stones and a low oxalate diet may reduce your risk of having calcium oxalate stones. Please leave a comment if you have any questions about this video. Thank you for watching and healthy eating.